So guys, I have spent the last week working in a dispensary and I figured this would be a good opportunity to kind of tell you guys what it's like. What is, what's the experience like being in a dispensary? And I feel like a lot of people are probably a little curious about what we do more so on the actual working side of things rather than the uh, just buying stuff. So I figured today would be a good day to just give you guys a, a little brief rundown of kind of some of the stuff you do throughout the uh, dispensary that are different from like the smoke shop or the hemp and CBD industry, which was what I'm traditionally used to and what you guys are mostly traditionally used to. So the number one first thing is that everybody's IDs have to be checked by a computer. So meaning when somebody walks in through that door, they have to give you your ID or their ID and you have to drop that thing into a computer. And what the computer does is it verifies it's a legitimate ID, verifies they're over, over, over the age of 21. It verifies that it's not a invalid ID or expired or anything like that. And then once they've passed that process, we're able to let them through a separate door because in cannabis dispensaries, you're not allowed to have your cannabis products displayable from the front of the store. Meaning every dispensary you walk into, you have to have a waiting room. And so some dispensaries will, depending on the busyness and how, uh, how many customers they have, will just end up having you wait in the waiting room until they call your name which I'm not the biggest fan of, but uh, hey, at the end of the day, it's something. Uh, I mean, if they're too busy, they don't wanna have a million people in the store at the same time, especially it might be overwhelming to the bud tenders, and plus people seem to be pretty patient when they're in a nicer lobby. Other things that are different, I don't have to explain to people all the different cannabinoids because for the most part, there's one cannabinoid we focus on and that is Delta 9 THC. So it is a lot less explaining of the hemp cannabinoids, but a lot more explaining the differences between stuff like distillate and live resins and rosins and live rosin versus hash rosin and uh, what is a first press versus a second press, stuff like that have a lot more meaning in this industry than rather the hemp industry where it's more about what cannabinoid gets you the highest or what's the closest to regular THC. We're in the regular THC business now, so well, everything's regular THC. Everybody is just looking for what is the best for their budget and all of that. Another thing that's different about the hemp industry compared to the uh, cannabis industry, especially regarding the THCA flower, the cannabis industry prices, at least in Michigan, are much cheaper than the hemp industry. I can go buy a 3.5 of decent quality flower pretty much at any dispensary for 15 bucks here. And I don't think I could do that with the THCA flower. I don't think I could buy an eighth for 15 bucks anywhere, even at my own shops. I couldn't buy an eighth for $15. So it, it's one of those things where the prices are a lot more abundant up here because there's a lot more uh, tiers. There's a lot more top tier, bottom tier. There's, there's a lot more uh, variety because there's a lot more growers, a lot more people competing. It's a very more competitive market. I mean, there are people who have dispensaries right across the road from each other. So if you're not on it, you will get left behind. It is a extremely competitive market. It's no longer like, oh, we're bringing something new to a state. We are already in a state that has something established. So it's more of a, how can we make our product stand out more than other people's? So that's a little bit of um, a trickier part to the whole like cannabis side, figuring all of that out for me personally, because there's a lot of logistics that go into this. Another thing is that everything in the systems are tracked. So like, you know exactly how much of every product you have at any one time. Now, I know some smoke shops, they may be like, well, we have barcodes and track everything in our store. I'm telling you, this is to the degree of like, from the manufacturer to you, everything is tracked entirely in the computer systems. Like, you know exactly where it's coming from, what the lab tests on are, everything. It is, it's a lot better than the hemp industry because I mean, I actually get to see what's um, what we're actually getting and get to know what is uh, the newest products and the uh, highest quality products because it's already in a big computer system for me instead of having to scour the earth and look for all this stuff. Now, obviously there's gonna be some stuff that are newer that uh, I have to look for, but it's not like the hemp industry where there's a million different companies popping up every single day. This takes a little bit more uh, effort to get into than the hemp industry would. And I think that's one of the reasons why I'm personally more excited to be in this because this is, in my opinion, the next step up, the better step up. 
and ultimately one of the most important things for the hemp companies back home is because when we get experience here we will be able to once legal cannabis comes to say georgia we'll be able to open our actual dispensaries and have this knowledge have this predecessor business that already exists that already is making money and profitable and has a solid brand and reputation that we can bring either down or we can open as subsidiary of that company and then use it to open up all our actual dispensaries down here or well not down here because i'm in michigan but down in georgia that's kind of like my thought process on it also um, i know this is kind of probably another one of those really brief videos but it's been really hectic recently, but I figured it'd be a good way to just explain to you guys a little bit of some of the differences between the smoke shop versus the uh, dispensary. I think it's uh, just a nice topic to talk about because there are some pretty interesting similarities. Like, I mean, at the end of the day, it's just retail, but there are some differences and I feel like we should, you know, make note of them because not everybody has worked in a smoke shop and not everybody has worked in a dispensary. Well, I can say I've done both. So, it kind of just works out where I'm able to give you guys a little bit of a different perspective than I feel like most people would. But anywho, that's pretty much all I have for you today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know down in the comments below. Also, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, share with your friends, tell everybody about the channel because we are growing at a rapid rate. And we're trying to hit 4,000 subscribers very soon. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you on the next one.